Hello. Good morning. It's been a while. Well, has it? Yeah, when did we last come to Kensington? Oh, um, um, it, was, it has it, been a while, I think. Yeah. I mean, we didn't come for Halloween, so it's at least been before uh, October, September yeah. time. So a good six months at least. Yes. But here we are because it is, it's Wicked's birthday. Yay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so as a birthday treat, um, we did book a stay at the hotel. We actually did a vlog that because it was the middle of Storm Eunice. We'd just landed from Prague and there wasn't really much going on. So yeah. we just napped a lot and chilled out in, in the comfy room, which was nice. Well, that's it. I think because we always come here and obviously the park's open, so you, have, you feel obliged. You have to go in the parks because you, uh, you want to make most of your money. But because they were closed, we literally just dust about in the, uh, the hotel room. And, <laughs> You don't really get to do that that often, so we've uh, definitely enjoyed that side of it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But we did stay in the summer of 2021, so we'll link our room tour because um, we had um, like a Savannah View room. Yeah. So we'll link that down below in case you want to have a watch of that. But yeah, for Rick's birthday, I booked us a Tiger experience. So well, it's not going to be a long day in the park because no. it is cold. Um, but we're doing that at one o'clock, so it's about half ten. So we've got a few hours to kill. So we're naturally. We're going to start in the petting zoo. Yeah, Ellie's <laughs> favourite part here. Yeah. And see my goat friends. See the um, goats. We'll try and catch some of the February, February <laughs> <laughs> entertainment um, and just chill out and see some animals. Yeah. And have a good old birthday. Good old birthday. Celebrating how many years? 29. Plus three. <laughs> yeah. But let's go see some goats. <laughs> Just having a breakfast. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I like your uh, sheep impression. No, they're just great. Bless you. This is our host, and this is our Wilson Planet. Hello adventurers, and welcome to the world's largest classroom, planet Earth. A classroom that is constantly spinning. A classroom we are constantly learning about, be it past, present or future. A classroom that we all call home. My name is Mr. Atlas, and today I'm going to transport us around the globe to discover a few things that make our planet, our home, so unique. Will you all join me on this adventure? Amazing news. But before we go anywhere, I want to know your favorite things about our planet. So shout them out to me, guys. What are they? Baseball, yeah? The beach? Anything else? Oh, so many amazing things there, so many amazing things, but did you know that without some very important elements, those things, those favourite things of yours, would not exist? There are four forces at play, and these forces fit so perfectly together, they are able to keep everything in perfect balance and able to run. They are the sun, our weather systems, ocean currents and volcanoes and they affect every single one of you here today. Um, yes? Well, it's just, I don't live near an ocean and I've never seen a volcano before, so how do they affect me? Oh, what's your name? Lindsay. <laughs> well, Lindsay, 4.6 billion years ago, the world looked completely different to how it looks today. How it looked all that time ago has shaped what we see now. In fact, our world is forever changing. Yes, Lindsay? Well, if the world is always changing, then why does it matter to me what it was like billions of years ago? Another brilliant question, Lindsay. Why don't you come on down to the front and let me show you. Yes. So you might be surprised to know that you are standing and you are all sitting on land formed from volcanoes millions of years ago. In fact, 80% of the Earth's surface is made of cooled magma from volcanoes. Nothing could live this close to a volcano though, could they? It's far too hot. Very good logic, Lindsay, but not quite true. You see, while we certainly couldn't live near a volcano like this, you over there is an animal that not only lives near a volcano, 
but thrives near one. Look over there, a flamingo! 75% of the flamingo population were born on a deadly lake in Tanzania. And you are correct. If me or you were exposed to the uh, volcanic water for a length of time, it would be very dangerous. So it must mean it's a really good place for her to avoid predators. Definitely. A fun fact about flamingos. Their name comes from the Latin word of flame, which is rather suitable. They'd be able to thrive near the land of volcanoes. And they also look like a pink flame too. So there we go, Lindsay. Not only are volcanoes crucially important for the beginning of land and the atmosphere, they also help incredible animals survive. The sun. It's huge! The sun is 109 times wider than our Earth. It is that big. It can fit 1.3 million Earths inside. Whoa! Now that really is huge! So, we know that the sun is big, and very hot, and we see it all the time. But what actually is it? The sun is a hot, glowing ball of hydrogen and helium and helps provide us with light and energy. Oh, so the sun gives us power. That's it. It fuels all the plants and animals on the Earth. Without the sun, nothing could live. Oh, so it's a really important force. Different animals use the sun in different ways to survive. Look. Here we have the perfect example, slithering up from that rock over there, the snake. Snakes are cold-blooded animals. They use the sun to keep their body temperature in the right range so they are able to move and keep their bodily functions working properly. Oh, the sun acts like their own little batteries, just like how you and I might need to put batteries in things at home to make them work. Good idea, Lindsay. I say we take a dive into our next force. Oh, yes! Much better! Even if it is a little wet. Sorry about that. But ocean currents are another major force, as all life depends on the continuous movement of water. But what do ocean currents do for us? Well, they're vital in controlling the climate, so we're not too hot or too cold. But they are crucially important for sea life, such as that fish over there, as ocean currents carry dissolved nutrients across our globe. Wow, that's a lot of animals that rely on the ocean currents then. An awful lot. They say there's more fish than birds, mammals, reptiles and amphibians put together. And it's not just fish that live in our oceans. They say there's millions of species still yet to be discovered in our seas. Shall we head on to our final force then? Yes, please. Now this force is so important, it's discussed in everyday life. The weather! You got it! So even though we have our ocean currents, it's the weather that is crucially important for the continuous movement of water. And all living organisms need water in order to survive, so even if I don't like the rain, it is important. But I bet you like snow. Oh, well, only if I'm wrapped up really warm. They can bury themselves in the snow to keep themselves insulated. And I bet their white fur keeps them really well camouflaged in the snow too. Yes, they are so well adapted that in the warmer climates, they can change their fur to a brown colour. So, really low key time to stay. Ellie's, no. Ellie's very sad because the gruffler isn't open. For some reason I thought I read it was, but yeah, it's pretty much, there's no coasters open. I'd say the only thrilling ride, if you could, is Tomb Blaster, but it's not open until later. I mean, to be honest, I don't think we're going to do any rides today. We're just no. going to walk around and then do the tiger experience. Yeah. But it's still, it's still fun. I mean, I enjoyed watching the, um, the show. I like the like, show. There were some facts there that I didn't even realise. Like, like the flamingos? Yeah, living close to like um, volcanic areas and that. I know, and I just thought the costumes were really good. And yeah. Merlin sort of overall over the last year just really up in the ante yeah. with their shows. No, I agree. Uh, it was good. No, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so you can see we've got a lot under refurbishment at the moment. And recently, Clesenton also confirmed there are going to be some new rides opening this year in Pirates Cove. One is going to be, so you know, like the tugboat, I 
think it's the one, I don't know if it's the same one as Orton Towers, but yeah. similar to the one at Orton Towers. Is it very near this? I don't think this is being replaced. I don't oh, know where okay. it's going to be. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Um, I mean, whatever's happening here is very in-depth. <laughs> yeah, they've totally gutted out the ride. But, um, and then the other ride is like a little water ride, so you're in barrels, I think. And I, the gist of it I get is you're going to spray cover with water, so I'm sure you're going to want to go on that. Of course, so why would you not? <laughs> This is their uh, diet board, so uh, this tells us uh, how much meat the tigers are getting uh, every day uh, if they are getting fed. So we only feed them their uh, many pieces uh, four times a week. And the reason for that is just because they wouldn't eat every single day in the wild. Um, and then we also give them a training allowance as well. So uh, this afternoon we'll do a training demonstration uh, with Olga for you. Um, so um, this is Saturday, so the girl, other two girls won't get anything at all. Um, so as long as they get fed uh, all of their uh, weekly amount, it doesn't matter what days they get fed. So we uh, mix it up each week, uh, so they never get fed the same days or the same time, so they never get into a routine, so it's always good to them uh, completely at random. So I'm off just trying to do a thing there. I don't have a way to the bench. Is that all you do, yeah? Yeah. Oh. She is 13, uh, so we have four in total. Uh, so Sara male is 14, so he's the oldest. Uh, two of the girls are 13 and one's 11. Um, so they are getting on a bit, they can live um, between 15 and 20. Um, so they're reaching the late parts of the life. So 13 is quite a good age. Um, but they're all uh, siblings, so. Um, yeah, so we're not in a breathing situation with them just because they are all closely related, we can't have cubs. Um, is this the closest you get to there? Yeah, we never go in there with them. Um, <laughs> they would kill us. Um, so, yeah. He is quite small for a male. Um, he roughly weighs about 180. We don't know for definite. Um, but they can weigh uh, up to 250 kilos, so they could get a lot bigger. Uh, it's just down to genetics, you get some smaller tigers and some bigger tigers. Um, but there's roughly about 4,000 tigers left in the wild overall, but there's only about 500 Amir tigers. Um, so they come from Russia. Uh, they used to be called the Siberian tiger, but uh, they're completely wiped out in Siberia now, so they're only found along the Amo Valley in Russia, um, which is the same place you can find your Amo leopards as well. So, okay. um, and all you've got to do is just uh, put the meat up to the mesh, and then um, you'll just take the meat yeah. and just try and keep the stick this side of the fence. Okay. So you can snatch it. I'll just try and get them up. Sir? Sir, come on. Can you get out? <laughs> you go. Okay. 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 Ok
Try and get him to stand up a bit, and if you want to get back here, he might um, stand up. Well, he might just. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Good boy. Yeah. You're quite lucky to get to feed him. He's not the most uh, <laughs> switched <really>. on. <laughs> He's quite lazy. <laughs> It's just not very um, like food driven. Like oh, is food, he not? Food doesn't really yeah. like, bother him much. Uh, whereas the girls are a lot more um, like, interested in food. <laughs> Awesome. So we're in the car because it's raining. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> yeah, it's been very cold and very wet today. It's it's just been a lot. Um, in the end, we just ended up waiting in the VIP area because yeah. they were seating. We waited there for about over an hour <laughs> just because we there was not much open. We didn't really want to do huge amounts, so we thought get out of the rain, get out. I say yeah. get out of the cold, it's still cold in there, but yeah. we weren't getting wet at the same time. If I'm not mistaken, like I don't actually on reflection think there's many indoor places to go in Clesenton unless you're eating. Um, so you, of course you've got to sit in restaurants, the pizza and pasta and the smokehouse. But I think the burger kitchen, I'm not sure if that was open. But when you think if you just wanted an indoor area to sit, I can't really think of any at the top of my head. No, no, that's why we ended up there really. <laughs> yeah, but how did you find the experience i i really enjoyed it like i think it's one of my favorite that we've done just because um i don't know if it was the weather or if that's normal group size because there was only another group of us yeah. it, was, it seemed a lot more intimate so <laughs> you got a closer look at the animals and because i love tigers anyway it was just made it even better it was awesome um <clears throat> the keepers were really knowledgeable yeah. and well, you just you just want to go in and boop their noses, and obviously you can't because they will kill you. And yeah. now you probably, I think, Richard caught it when filming. But someone had asked, like, "Do you go in with them?" He was like, "No, they'll kill us." Um, and yeah. they're just awesome animals. And I paid. I know it's your birthday present, but I did tell you how much I paid anyway. And I paid um, ninety six pounds because we're pass holders, so I think you get that twenty percent off. It was absolutely worth the money. Yeah, definitely it was. Um, what what they said after is because obviously we was with another group. Um, they said we was allowed to come back and feed the animals. Yeah. Um, which obviously we weren't expecting it. We sort of, I mean, doing it doing the first part of the experience just was enough for us. But obviously it was sort of like a bonus that we were able to get a close look, be able to feed them as well, which was simply amazing. Yeah, it was really cool. And I guess just like a full disclosure, there, it's not because we're a special or anything. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, yeah, it's not because we were special or anything. It just wasn't suitable for the first group to feed him, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, But they held us back and said we can go in and do the last few bits of meat. And it was a really, it was a great experience. But yeah, I just want to commend the staff, really, at Clismington for coming in in this weather. Yeah. Um, even yesterday, the park was closed, but the hotel was opened. And I know some people are thinking we're part of the problem by still going. But we... Like we said, we'd just got back from Stansted and we were a couple of hours from home and an hour a bit from here. So, in reality, we would have had to driven in the storm anyway. Yeah, yeah. But 
But with that as well, I got an email today after we checked out from the hotel to say that they've refunded half of it. And I only paid £79 for it anyway, again, because it's February. Um, and it was a good deal. So I just thought, it's just been really good. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't done a lot, but <laughs> it, I don't know. I've just really enjoyed it. It's just been really relaxed and... Yeah, we got a good night's sleep last night and we've had some tigers. So yeah, so I think it's a really good trip and we really enjoyed it. So yeah. Have you had a good birthday is yes. the main question. It's been really fun. Yeah. But now I we're think... gonna go home. <laughs> yeah, warm up. And but... chill out with takeaway, I think. Yeah, I think so too. But we will see you soon. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. bye.